we have two new significant updates in our surgical guide the wizard process flow and in this training tutorial i'm going to take you through the wizard process flow for implant planning and surgical guide design and fabrication for one or two implant cases this is using version 413 of the blue sky plan software if you're not using version 413 please upgrade to the latest release so i'm going to start the process by clicking on implant planning and surgical guides now I'll provide a link to the data set that I'm going to be using so you could actually follow along on your computer step by step. So I'm going to now click the option for one or two implant case, which is our wizard process flow. It takes us step by step through the process of placing the implant and creating the surgical guide. Okay, we're going to confirm our selection of model STL, which is our definitely preferred import type for the model and select the relevant surgical guide kit. Obviously, we recommend the Blue Sky Bio Fully Guided Surgical Kit, but we have a tremendous variety of more than 70 different implant systems in the Blue Sky Plan software. So select the relevant kit and go ahead and click on OK. The software is now prompting you to select the relevant CT scan. Navigate to the location on your computer where the CT scan is saved. You could use the quick access buttons to access commonly used folders. Select the CT scan and click the OK button. The Blue Sky Plan software will import compressed, uncompressed, zipped, unzipped, really all the different options for your CT scan. So just go ahead and select what you have and the software will load it accordingly. On the screen that now comes up, you could grab and drag using your left mouse button any of the yellow borders to define the relevant field of view. The area that is selected will be magnified within the software so you can see it accordingly and it will remove any unnecessary data to lower the load on your computer when processing the relevant data. If needed, you could also use the circles, the blue circles surrounding the data set to orient the CT scan as needed. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on OK. The software is now automatically detecting the relevant nerves. If it's a maxilla case, simply click cancel its maxilla. Okay, we can now see that the nerves have been automatically detected. If we lower the density threshold, we could see the nerves. And we could see the nerves as well in our relevant 2D views. If needed, simply grab and drag any of the nodes in any of the 2D views to realign the nerve accordingly. During the wizard process flow, you'll notice that there are different buttons going across the top. These are easy access buttons. So if you decided that you wanted to draw the nerve manually, for example, you could click the relevant option. If you'd like to rerun the auto detection, you could click that relevant option as well. Once you have confirmed the nerve placement, simply click on next. The software is now prompting us to select the relevant optical scan. Go ahead and left click on that. You can see the preview on the right side of the screen and then click on OK. OK, this is a mandibular case, so we're gonna select mandible and click OK. The software now does, now does automatic model alignment, so it's automatically aligning the optical scan to the CT scan. We can now see the automatic model alignment. It's important to confirm the alignment in the 2D view windows. You want to see the outline of the optical scan tightly wrapped around the teeth in the axial view, especially as you get closer to the occlusion and in our tangential and cross-section views as well. If there's a need for any sort of manual alignment, simply click manual alignment. If you like to rerun the automatic model alignment, you have that option on top of the screen as well. Once you've confirmed correct model alignment, simply click on next. At this step, the software is prompting us to select the relevant tooth, implant, and abutment. One of the significant updates that we've added to the software release is you could see the two tabs on top. You have the option select tooth from catalog, which is the option that we've had until now, where you can use the drop down, select the tooth set, and then select the relevant tooth from the diagram. Or you could click automatically create AI tooth. 
And what this is going to do, it's going to create a custom tooth for you based on your particular data set for this particular case. So we're still gonna click on the relevant tooth position. We're still going to select by clicking on the implant button here, the correct implant and the correct abutment. Click on OK, click on OK, and click once where the tooth should be placed. Now the software is running the automatic tooth generation. And what we could see here is that the software has generated for us a tooth particular to our case. So the tooth has been generated and placed in the correct positioning. And we have the abutment and the implant placed as well. Now this is our first iteration of our automatic tooth generation. So if you run into any issues or problematic cases, please send us the data set so we could continue to improve. I'm now going to click on next. We could see the implant placement in our 3D view, as well as the implant placement in the 2D view. You can make any modifications using your left mouse button, just grab and drag the implant accordingly. You could rotate using the widget in your left mouse button, tilting the implant mesial or distal. If you would like to change the size of the implant or the abutment, simply right click and choose either replace abutment or simply replace and you could select the relevant implant or abutment that you would like to replace it with. Once you've done that, simply click on next and you could see our next improvement is that the surgical guide curve has been drawn automatically. So it's important to review the placement of the curve. You can modify the placement, zoom in and out with your right mouse button, grab and drag any of the nodes with your left mouse button, confirm the curve, make any modifications as necessary. We have different settings for, for the automatic surgical guide curve as well. So you know in the options menu, you could go ahead and if you like, customize exactly how many teeth should be included in the curve and other settings there. Once you're done, simply click on next. We can now see that the surgical guide has been created. We could see that the software guide tube aligns perfectly with the surgical guide, and we could see the vertical axis of the implant goes through the center of the surgical guide hole, the center of the software guide tube. At this point, click next. The software is now prompting you to save all the relevant data files. So I suggest clicking a location on your computer, create a new folder, and give it a name. The software will save to the folder the surgical guide, the case, and the drilling report. So create a folder, click the OK button, and all the relevant project data is being saved to the folder. The software now asks if you want to complete the case approval form. You don't need to. If you click yes, it simply opens up a form, a general approval form, where you could click approve planning, approve surgical guide if that's relevant, put in the relevant information. You could print, you could apply and save, and it will get saved with the case. You now have an order form that shows up on your screen. If you're going to be manufacturing the surgical guide in-house, simply click on the close button. If you like to outsource the manufacturing, then just complete the order form that appears on the screen. The data will be attached automatically and you could have the surgical guide made for you. Blue Sky Bio actually offers free surgical guides, including the digital design and the manufacturing for Blue Sky Bio customers for single implant cases. You could see more information regarding that at blueskybio.digital forward slash free offers. At this point, I'm going to click on close. It will delete the order, that's fine. The software now prompts us to save the report, so I'll select that same folder as before. Click on OK. The report has been saved and opened on the computer. You could access the folder where you saved everything just by clicking open folder, or if you're done, go ahead and click on OK. Clicking on next, we'll open the Blue Sky Bio website for Blue Sky Bio implant cases, showing the relevant 
information regarding the implants and abutments being offered. If you have the relevant parts, simply close the website and switch back to the software. You now have the option to either start a new case or close the wizard. I'm going to go ahead and click close the wizard. We have completed the wizard process flow that Dana has saved to her computer. And if we are done using the software, we could simply go ahead and close out the software. Now, let's keep in mind that we have, we could toggle on and off our tooth that the software created for us previously. Turning this tooth into a crown for titanium base abutment could be done with a few simple clicks, which we're not going to get into now. We'll have a different tutorial on that, but you could switch over to the crown and bridge software and turn that tooth into a crown. In addition, if you like to automatically segment all the CT teeth and the jaws with a single click, either for patient education or demonstration purposes, or to confirm and validate implant placement, it could be done simply by going to Model Master Module, open the segmentation panel, confirm automatic jaw segmentation, confirm the relevant boxes that we have here, including airways, and you could run the segmentation with a single click, all of the relevant parts will be segmented. Now this can also be done prior to starting the wizard process. To do so, simply enter the model master module from the beginning, choose the segmentation panel, run the segmentation, and then right over here, you have a button to start wizard. So after the segmentation is completed, simply click on start wizard.